One of the great things about electric cars like the Rivian R1S and R1T are their simple design. Rivian ships vehicles with a number of great features, but when you get inside, nothing feels cluttered about the design at all. It's very simple in a good way, but along with that comes room to expand in a well-integrated way. On top of that, the R1S and R1T are fully electric, so they have more storage than the average vehicle, and all of these locations can be optimized with accessories. Today I'm going to break down the must-have accessories for the Rivian R1S and R1T. These cars are very similar, and especially up front, share many identical accessories. However, they differ in some ways, especially past the first row of seats. For that reason, I'll be sure to distinguish accessories for each car, and link to each clearly in the description below. Each accessory is linked in the description in the order I presented present them in this video, so let's get into it. First up is the primary accessory that these cars need, all-weather floor mats. For adventure vehicles, you'd expect Rivian to include all-weather floor mats, but the ones included are fairly cheap and can get out of place easily. Rivian makes and sells all-weather floor mats, but to me, I found these a bit stiff and surprisingly smelly. It took about a month for me to air these mats out completely in the vehicle. In come my favorite all-weather floor mats. These come from 3D Max Spider and are available for the R1T and R1S. The great thing about these mats is they are lightweight, soft on your feet, but do a great job of collecting water or dirt without it sloshing around like happens with other mats. They're easy to install, and I've been using these same mats for my Tesla Model Y for years now. I'm super glad to see them available for Rivian's lineup. They're also very easy to vacuum or wipe down with some simple interior spray. For the R1T, the complete set is four pieces. It includes the two passenger front mats, mats for rear passengers, and then a mat specifically fitted to the front trunk. For me personally, I feel this is only useful for people who never really use the functionality of the sub front trunk in the Rivian. It sits on top of this, blocks the connection from the neck connected to it, and prevents you from easily folding up the shelf there. Because of this, I think most people won't really need the front trunk mat. You can buy the complete set like I did, or you can get a smaller set if you prefer just to cover passenger areas. They are linked below. For the R1S, there are a few more locations to protect, and they have gone all out here with a six-piece set. The complete R1S set includes mats for the first and second row seats, a mat for the third row, which may prove the most important for you depending on who's back there, the front trunk mat, and then a mat for the trunk space. These ensure that you are taking proper care of your expensive, beautiful Rivian. I highly recommend these, and I'm glad to see them now available for both cars. One area that only the R1T has, though, is the truck bed. Depending on how you plan to treat your Rivian, you may be fine getting this incredibly messy, but I figure I may as well protect it if I can. That's where this truck bed mat comes into play. This fits perfectly into the R1T's truck bed and protects it from weather, scratching, and dirt. I've also found that it makes the bed easier to clean and prevents water from getting into the spare tire area. At first, it seems like it's a bit of a snug fit, but after I let it sit in the sun for a day, it was perfect. The R1T truck bed mat is linked below. Next up is an accessory I think Rivian should make standard in their cars, at least in some form. The R1S and R1T both come with a center console that has a wireless phone charger. From the looks of it, it's a beautiful design, but as soon as you drive, your phone slides around and stops charging. Then it's remarkably difficult to get your phone charging again. Take another turn in your car and it's done. That's where this dual wireless MagSafe charger comes in. This is an incredibly well-designed, singular, integrated MagSafe charger to replace your wireless charger. It requires hardly any install, which is one of my favorite parts about it. Take it out of the box, place it on top of the existing charger, run the cables through the existing armrest slots, and plug in. You're good to go right there, and it only uses one of the two USB-C ports in the center console. This MagSafe charger is only compatible with MagSafe iPhones, but it works perfectly. It's way easier to land your charging spot when you're putting your phone down, since it's magnetic, and it has a channel above it so that your phone's camera bump won't mess up positioning. On top of that, it maintains the little slot at the top of the Rivian charger. To me, if you have an iPhone, and a Rivian, this is a must-have accessory. It perfectly fixes the problem that both of these cars have and improves on it at the same time. You can also customize it exactly to your liking with various different skins from ash wood, brushed wood, carbon fiber, and more. It's linked in the description below, and as the description mentions, if you use Ryan Shot checkout, you'll get 10% off. An alternate option here would be to simply buy an Apple MagSafe puck. You can just plug it in and leave it on top of your charger. I don't think it's as elegant of a solution, but it's a rather easy one as well. Next up is an accessory that attaches to the front of a Rivian and thus is universal for each car, the Quick Bandit. Much like Tesla's vehicles, the R1T and R1S were not really designed to have a front license plate. From a design perspective, they look best without one. 
However, depending on where you live, a front license plate is legally required, and you could get a ticket for driving without one. The Quick Bandit is a bracket that attaches to the lower vent of the R1T and R1S and can be installed or removed in seconds. For myself, this is especially useful so that I can ride legally most of the time and then take it off easily when filming something like a review video with this car. For others, it's just a less permanent way of attaching a license plate than something that will stick on and could damage your paint. Depending on where you live, this could be an essential accessory for your R1S or R1T. One thing worth noting is that you can ever so slightly see the plate frame in the front view camera once it's installed. I haven't had any problem with this and it doesn't at all block the area I need to see, but it's worth noting. It's linked in the description below. One of the best features Rivian recently added via software is DriveCam. This is available in both the R1S and R1T and expands the functionality of the GearGuard camera to record 360 as you drive. In case of an event, your footage is saved and you have full camera coverage of what happened. This is awesome, but has one requirement that you connect a storage device of at least 128 gigabytes. For this, I recommend the Samsung T7 solid state drive. It is the most reliable solid state drive I've ever seen and is relatively inexpensive. It comes in 500 gigabytes, one terabyte or two terabyte, and also comes in a rugged version if you prefer. I have the rugged version in our R1T and it has worked out great. It comes with a USB-C cable to connect right to the USB-C in the center console, and then you're good to set up drive cam. I think that there's no reason not to connect a drive here since it could prove something very important in an expensive accident. Of course, we hope that never happens, but better safe with a reliable drive to enable drive cam. Next is an accessory for rear passengers. If you want a way to mount an iPad for rear passengers, there is a great way to accomplish this. This small clip hooks into the back hook of the Rivian R1S and R1T seat, and it's made specifically for it. From there, you can attach any iPad mount that uses this same ball joint connector, which is many of them. I'll link the exact one I used to accomplish this below, but with these two pieces, your rear passengers can have an iPad mounted at a very reasonable angle for a drive. I can't even imagine having this available as a kid and today it's very cheap to expand the iPad or tablet you likely already have. Next is a charging accessory that comes in very handy if you have a Tesla charger, but need to charge your Rivian. For myself, I use a Tesla wall connector at home, and when we got our R1T that uses J1772, I was able to instantly use the Tesla charger using this adapter from Electron. It converts the Tesla connector and works flawlessly. I've used it for over a year now to charge our R1T, and it of course works with both of Rivian's cars, or really any other EV with J1772. Next up is a quick fun one, a mini Rivian. Likely if you own a Rivian at this point, you're a fan of its design. This Matchbox Rivian R1T is a fun collectible and sometimes they are hard to find so it may be worth snagging. But back to useful accessories for these cars, let's talk about storage. Storage is all over these cars, from the gear tunnel in the R1T to the under storage in the R1S trunk. Sometimes, however, this storage can end up just being one big area, not really meant to hold anything specific. Once you start dialing in what you want to store there, these storage optimization accessories are great. First is a small one, door handle inserts. These fit into the little area where you grab to open the R1S or R1T door. They just slide in there and give you a little pocket to store anything you might want on hand near you while driving. They're very simple and look like an original part of this car. The center console armrest is also a big area. It opens and is deep, but if you want to keep smaller things easily accessible, they'll just end up in a big mess at the bottom of this console. That's where this armrest or center console organizer tray comes into play. It fits both cars exactly the same. This particular one is customizable, so you can choose how many dividers you want at any given time. It allows space for plugging in cords and comes with faux leather liners to grip your stuff. If you want a splash of color as well, it's available in yellow. It's linked in the description below, and if you use the code RyanShaw at checkout, you'll get 10% off. From another brand is a similar organizer as well with a fixed design and room for cables to pass through. In front of both of these cars is a full pass-through. This is a great place to put bags and other things, but depending on what you plan to store there, it also could just roll around as you drive. That's where the floor console organizer comes in. This fits right into that area on the floor and adds multiple divided locations. This one is customizable with fully adjustable or removable dividers and has a padded bottom. On top of that, there are cup holder inserts that you can purchase with this accessory. It takes this storage location and adds a lot to it with the additional option of lids to cover whatever you have stored there. That's linked in the description below and use the code RyanShaw at checkout for 10% off. If this looks a little big to you, but you like the idea, there's this other rubber version that doesn't have quite as much storage, but sits lower to the ground. 
This has cup holders and four fixed storage areas. Worth noting that these are very large cup holders, so depending on your use, this could be perfect or not. For myself, I use a large water bottle and having the regular Rivian cup holders that come out of the center console along with these added is useful. Each of these options fit either car and are linked below. Speaking of a large water bottle, this simple accessory has done wonders for me in the past year. It's a simple large water bottle adapter. You take this, screw it into the small cup holder on the Rivian, and immediately it can hold your large 32 ounce hydro flask or any other large beverage container. It also has rubber flaps on it that help it still be useful with a smaller bottle. If you prefer to use the standard cup holders on the Rivian, but have a large water bottle, this is a great option that has worked well for me. To finish out storage, let's organize the under storage in the R1T. In the R1T, the rear seats lift up to unveil a subwoofer on one side and a very large under seat storage compartment on the other side. Again, this is very useful, but could lead to a lot of stuff shuffling around as you drive. These simple rear seat under storage dividers insert into that compartment and divide it into three useful sections. They are linked below. Next is an accessory that could be a good replacement for Rivian's built-in version. Both the R1S and R1T include an air compressor with a hose capable of reaching all of your tires. However, if your tires need a top off, this could be a bit of an ordeal with such a long hose. That's where the Fantic X8 Apex comes in. This is a very small, smart air pump that only weighs 1.87 pounds, but delivers a max pressure of 150 pounds per square inch. It also has five smart inflation modes. The best part about it for me is that I can set it and forget it. I walk around to each wheel, set my desired pressure, and it cuts off automatically when it reaches the right pressure. I can easily maintain the pressure of all of my tires on one charge, and then it charges easily over USB-C, which I can do from the car itself. This is by far the easiest way I've ever seen to keep tires properly inflated, and then it's very easy to store. I personally prefer this, even though I really want to use the features Rivians have built in. Next up, one of the great benefits of the R1T or R1S is the glass roof. It adds headroom and provides a great view for many passengers in the car. The only thing is, depending on where you live, even with tint, this can lead to excessive heat inside the cabin. For some, they don't mind it, but others just wish they could get the sun out of there at certain times of the year. Luckily, there is a sunshade built just for that. Here is the R1T glass roof sunshade that provides heat and UV protection. It has complete coverage, is easy to install, and comes with a storage bag for when you don't want to use it. So far, there is one for the single glass roof pane on the R1T and one for the front glass on the R1S. I have not been able to find one that will block sun from the third row in the R1S, so whoever's back there is just gonna have to deal. Either way, those are linked below, and I'll update the link if a third row sunshade does end up coming to be. For doing work or eating in a Rivian, there are a few different tray options. First is a simple steering wheel tray that attaches to the wheel when parked to support your laptop or function as a table for eating. That's a simple version, but if you need a large space, there is this folding tray table. It unfolds completely, rests on the armrests, and then gives you a full desk as needed. Each are linked in the description below in order. Last up today, to keep your Rivian clean, there are a variety of useful accessories out there. On a day-to-day -day basis though, a good quality in-car vacuum is extremely useful. This is the Fantic X8 Mate. It's a very small but impressive car vacuum that only weighs 1.2 pounds. It includes various cleaning accessories and can definitely get the job done when you need to vacuum up your interior a bit. This paired with the floor mats I mentioned earlier works great. I love this one because of its size and the fact that it can fit pretty much anywhere in this car and then charges easily over USB-C. However, if you find yourself vacuuming up a lot, you might want to try out the larger V9 Mate. This one has a larger canister, up to 30 minutes of runtime, and includes various accessories for an easy interior clean. I store this one under the rear seats in my R1T. They're both great and they're linked below. For the outside of the truck or SUV, the best way to wash it for longevity will be to use a two bucket wash setup with a pressure washer and foam cannon. Those are linked below, but more important might be your day-to-day -day maintenance. To keep your Rivian in the best shape, you'll want a reliable exterior detailer, a window spray, and an interior cleaner that doesn't hurt any of your car. Then you'll want to pair those with soft microfiber towels. My favorite options are linked below in order, and it can be great to put together a kit that you can store away in one of your newly optimized Rivian storage locations. I've found all of these accessories very useful. Many of them, like the first eight or so, are essential as well to get the best experience in your Rivian R1S or R1T. As I mentioned, everything is linked in the description below, and I hope this video was helpful for you. In the meantime, if you want to see my full review of the Rivian R1T after one year of ownership, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.